Well, I haven't gone eeling um, for research, but I have gone in the past with my dad. The way we went out, uh, my dad took us, it was in the evening, and he had a lantern in front of the boat, which is more of the traditional way of eeling at night. My first real memory was when I went with my dad eeling. After that, I, I loved eeling. First time I started spearing eels, I was about 12, 13. So I tried it when I was a little bit older, when I was in the 20s. Starting in the spring, that's when we go out. As soon as the trees start budding, that's when it's time to go out. One night, I went out with a lantern in my boat, and I set, up, I set it up. We do take lanterns out. We get ready, get dressed warm, because even though it could be a nice night, it can get very breezy or very cold real quick. We'll go out there on a the flat bottom dory, and preparation, you're going to go to the lantern, you got to get the rocks right into the boat while you stand in the front. It's hard for one person to eel, especially if you don't have a flat bottom boat. I had a lot of stories about my dad. I don't know how he did it. Like he would, he would stand on a boat with a lantern and balancing himself without, and he had to spare and he would just spare the eel. So what I used to do was um, get, a, get a piece of a um, two by four or something, stick it into the seat and out in the front coming out like this. I had to put tires and cement blocks in the back to counter counterweight my weight. And then we start walk, um, like walking the boat in the water. Just uh, enough depth so that we're able to spear the eel and not have it hanging. And we went out and he just started spearing eels and putting them in the bottom of the boat. And they were still alive and squirming around. It wasn't. It was a very scary experience. Now I know why my mom didn't want to come out with us fishing that day. The eels were like, whew, and they they would um they swam too fast. They would come home with a bucket every night. And how we did it? You need a calm night, you know, and you need clear water that you know wasn't dirty. You're just drifting along the shoreline, and it's you know it's got to be calm and the water's real still. And once you get to know where you're able to go, um, depending on the night, type of night, the moon is out, if the, um, or if it's overcast, or what time of night, if it's near the highway, you know, things like that you need to um, experience so you know what's going on. Once you catch them and you just bring them over to the box and you kind of, he comes out, you know, you wipe them off into the, your bucket. A lot of the women that are around here they say they can't do it. I said, why? Goes up, but I didn't know how to. Come down, come along with me in one of my adventures, and I'll teach you. I just love eeling. Like being out there, just with nature. It's a feeling that's hard to explain, but, you know, just uh, a sense of uh, belonging in a place, knowing that, you know, you belong there, and you've been there for thousands of years. It's about continuing something. Mm -hmm.